Well, hello again, everyone. Welcome to uh, the Sports Corner, to Art Regner's video blog. Of course, I'm Art Regner, and we're talking about Game 2 of the ALCS, where the Detroit Tigers defeated the New York Yankees by a score of 3 to nothing to take a 2 to nothing lead in their best of seven uh, for the American League pennant. The Tigers now come home to Comerica Park four games on Tuesday and Wednesday evening, and if necessary, a fifth game would be played in Detroit at uh, 4 o'clock in the afternoon on Thursday, and then next weekend, if necessary, game 6 and 7 would be in New York. Uh, this was uh, a strange ball game, and certainly the Tigers were very, very fortunate. I know that the Yankees are screaming uh, bloody murder about uh, Omar Infante being called safe when he was actually out in the eighth inning. Uh, and it was a big play, uh, but as people know, I have never been a proponent of replay in any form, really, uh, simply because I think it puts too much pressure uh, on umpires and on officials where they're constantly thinking about it. And I would think since the implementation, or the implementation, pardon me, of, uh, it's been a long weekend, of, of replay, uh, I, I think that... Uh, officials have probably gotten more calls wrong because they're they're feeling the pressure of being second guessed. But enough about that. They were fortunate, but credit the Tigers. Uh, they did something that the Yankees haven't been able to do. Uh, it's particularly in this game, score runs and get a hit uh, when most needed. Uh, Avisel Garcia. Uh, Cabrera, even Delman, although uh, Cano, I don't know what was going on when he could have had a, a double play. Uh, they came up big. Cue ball got a hit. Uh, Austin Jackson played well. But really, I, I think if you really want to single out uh, one uh, position player uh, who has been absolutely great, uh, has been Johnny Peralta. Johnny Peralta has been uh, unbelievable. Truly unbelievable. I know Jim Leland said in his post-game press conference that he thought that Peralta uh, was uh, playing the best he has all season. And I certainly concur, uh, even though I don't agree with Jim Leland in a lot of things, uh, I, I do concur with uh, the Tigers manager on that. Johnny Peralta, that barehanded uh, uh, pickup today and, and, and throwing out, I mean, in, in a couple of no, another couple of big hits. I mean, Kuroda, the uh, pitcher for the Yankees, who probably deserved a better fate, I mean, he was pitching no-hit ball until uh, Peralta broke it up. So, Johnny Peralta has been very, very good. But obviously, uh, the name of uh, this game and uh, the name, uh, I think, of the uh, Tigers' postseason run so far has been their starting pitching. They now haven't given up a run in 29 and two-thirds innings. Uh, which is uh, second in Major League Baseball history, and they're closing in on the uh, wonderful staff that the 1974 Oakland A's had. So, I mean, the Tigers, uh, if they can come home, and with JV on the mound on Tuesday, you would think that maybe uh, the Tigers have a good shot of at least trying, if not breaking that record for most consecutive uh, innings without a starting staff giving up a run. As I said, Tigers at 29 and uh, two-thirds innings, I believe, and Oakland's was at uh, 30 innings and something uh a third or something like that. But anyway, they're, they're very, very close. Uh, uh, Hannibal Sanchez pitched very, very well today. Uh, I, I thought that, uh, you know, he got ahead in the count. He was throwing strikes, and that really has been the key. Uh, the Tigers' uh, starting staff, and along with Phil Coke, who's been great too. You've got it. you know, we talked about Phil Coke last night. Uh, uh, fifth, uh, 16 pitches, 15 strikes. Well, he was on today. He got ahead of the hitters, uh, struck out a lot of Yankees, and it uh, uh, was just a really, really good game. But the Tigers' starting staff, and there is a lot of pressure on them because, as we know, the bullpen has been extremely shaky, uh, have gotten the job done, and the Tigers are getting just enough hits, manufacturing runs to win the ball game. It was good to see Miggy at two to four, uh, be two, two of four today. Uh, as he played, uh, I, I thought, uh, uh, very, very well. He didn't get frustrated. And I think that's the thing about Miguel Cabrera. He has a great eye at the plate, and he hits to right field. And even though he has been struggling by his standards, uh, I, I think that he settled down today and, and delivered when he had to. Uh, Garcia, uh, what can you say? I know he hasn't gotten an extra base hit in his major league career yet, uh, but two big singles for the Tigers, uh, both driving in runs in both of these games. So, you know, you have to say that the, the young rookie, even though uh, he may not be ready for the bigs just, just yet, is proving maybe mm, he's closer than we think. So, there you have it. The Tigers uh, win this game, uh, but I do have a word of caution. And, you know, another thing, too, these were two big games on the road for the Tigers. Two games on the road where they haven't been very, very good. So, again, 
Uh, these were big wins, especially last night. Coming back after Valverde blew the save, I cannot stress that enough. For the Tigers to win that game, I think propelled them uh, to great things today. To have confidence, uh, hang in there, be patient. Eventually got to Kuroda. They got a break on that call by uh, Infante being safe at second base. No doubt about it, but they were able to do something with this. Uh, with it. On the other hand, the Yankees have not been able to do anything. And uh, uh, it's it's weird, and I'm almost thinking if I have a fear, and you know, I, I do have fears all the time. I think way too much about this. Um, my fear is, is that maybe the best thing for the Yankees is to get out of the Bronx, to get out of New York City. Uh, I think there's enormous amounts of pressure on that team, and a change of scenery coming to Detroit, coming to Comerica Park, maybe that'll settle that club down and they can get out of their hitting funk that they seem to be uh, in. Now, the Yankees, just as I said last night, do not appear to be the same baseball team right now. Uh, they seem to be a shell of themselves. They're really, really pressing, and if I didn't despise the Yankees, except, of course, for Derek Jeter, um, I might even feel a little bit bad for them, but I don't. Uh, but the Tigers starting pitching is the name of the game. Hitters doing just enough. Hopefully Justin Verlander, Max Scherzer can get the job done and the Tigers could sweep the Yankees and then watch the Cardinals and Giants beat up on each other and uh, uh, then play the winner of that series uh, in the World Series. But uh, starting pitching... Annabelle Sanchez pitched very, very well today. Uh, you know, again, he's pitched very, very well, Sanchez has. Hopefully the Tigers will be able to re-sign him, although with this performance and what he did in Oakland, even though he lost that game 2 to nothing, uh, you know, he's going to be on the market. He's going to command a lot of money. But with Sanchez pitching very, very well, uh, he does, he's deserved a better fate. It was nice to see him pitch well, and the Tigers actually scored a, enough runs. I mean, he had to pitch a shutout, and that's another thing, too. Tigers haven't given up a lot of runs. Their starters haven't. But there is an enormous amount of pressure. I still think the Tigers could do a little bit more, be a little more patient, and hit. If I do have a criticism, I still think that their hitting needs to come around a little bit. Miggy, as I said, coming out of it was a good sign. Uh, Delman Young uh, was good except for today. He had three strikeouts. He was 0 for 4. Prince Fielder is having really, really good at-bats. I think he probably deserves a little bit more uh, uh, bat luck, if you will. Uh, uh, I, you know, and I, I think that, again, Peralta, though, Peralta is the story right now for the Tigers as far as everyday players. Uh, he has had a wonderful series thus far, a wonderful playoff thus far, and if he continues to do that, that does bode well for Detroit. So we'll see what happens as the uh, series switches uh, to uh, the Motor City. Hopefully the Yankees won't uh, uh, find uh, their elixir. Uh, here in Detroit and make this a series. Uh, hopefully JV can shut him down and then Max Scherzer. So uh, there you have it. That'll do it for this edition of uh, the video blog. Uh, I will be back tomorrow. You know, this is going to be a great week. Not only do we have Tigers-Yankees and I'll be blogging, video blogging after every Tiger-Yankee game of the ALCS, but a lot of Michigan-Michigan State stuff and rumor has it Timmy Chang's coming back tomorrow to talk about Denard Robinson and how he has to prove something against Michigan State. It's his last shot, and if Denard can do that against Michigan State, then maybe his legacy at Michigan won't be as checkered as some Michigan fans feel. So that'll be coming up tomorrow. Uh, but until then, have a safe and pleasant one. Tigers now up two games to none on the ALCS. Justin Verlander going to the Hill on Tuesday here in Detroit, so you've got to feel uh, good about the Tigers' chances. They were fortunate, but they did get the job done. And let's I, I'm going to stress that one more time. And I'll keep saying goodbye here, but I'm going to stress that one more time. The Tigers did something with their at-bats. Not a whole lot, but enough to win the ball game. The Yankees have done nothing. So even though that Infante... Uh, play was huge. They still didn't score any runs. And the Tigers were up one to nothing. It led to two more runs, insurance runs, and they're big. I, I understand all that. But still, the fact of the matter is, when that play happened, and it was Infante's own mistake, really. It wasn't any great play that the Yankees made. He should have never overrun that base. Omar, he's flighty. He's got to get his head a little bit more into the game and be aware of the situation. Uh, but uh, with that said, the Tigers did capitalize on a break that they were given, and the Yankees did not capitalize on anything. And uh, that does, as I said, bode well for the Tigers. So until we meet again, which will be tomorrow, everyone have a safe and pleasant one. I'm Art Rugger for FoxSportsDetroit.com. We'll see you. Bye-bye.